Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture from Accredited Laboratory. Still we are in the method development and validation training course and now is linearity. Linearity which is divided into instrument linearity and method linearity. First, instrument linearity. To study linear response as a recovery to identify low concentration and high concentration can be determined by the instrument only, not by the method. And in this case, you will use only calibration standards. You will use the external standards to prepare or create your calibration curve. Calibration curve that will be used after that for quantitation of target analytes in the unknown samples. An instrument linearity or calibration curve is the relation between response and the concentration of target analytes. The response, as example in chromatography, can be the area under peak or the height of the peak. If you run any calibration standard, any calibration standard for your target analyte, you will get this peak. The area under the peak or the height of the peak represent the concentration of the standard. And you will run different calibration standards to create your calibration curve. For each calibration standard, you will get one point on this line this line which is the relation between response on y and the concentration of target analyte on x all points should be on the line to get linear calibration curve if you get linear calibration curve that indicates how much sensitive is your measurement if the sensitivity of measurement is high you will get linear calibration curve and all points all one will be on the line and slope which is equal to y divided by x will be higher than or equal to 0.995 and the, the calibration curve to be accepted with accepted accuracy slope should be higher than or equal to 0.995 one point can be enough to create the calibration curve but it's better to have multi-level calibration curve you will run different calibration standards to get different points on the calibration curve so at the end you will have a linear calibration curve which cover the working range of interest or the range of concentrations expected to be measured by the method for your target analytes first point of this calibration curve should be lower than minimum reporting limit or limit of quantitation and last point in the calibration curve should be or better to be higher than the specification limit or maximum residual limit of target analytes so you will have this calibration curve which have different points the first point should be lower than minimum reporting limit and last point should be higher than the maximum residual limit or the specification limit of target analytes so you covered by this calibration curve the working range of interest for this target analyte as here in this example if limit of quantitation or minimum reporting limit equal to 5 BBB and maximum residual limit for this target analyte equal to 100 BBB so you will run different calibration standards from 1 BBB one point should have one point before minimum reporting limit and one point after maximum residual limit for this target analyte so I selected 1 BBB 5, 10, 25, 50, 100, and 200 B. 1 BBB is lower than minimum reporting limit, and 200 BBB is higher than maximum residual limit of this target analyte. So the range of interest for this tar target analyte was in between calibration points because all concentrations expected to be measured for this target analyte should be in between your calibration points to be quantified with the high accuracy and after that during the analysis of unknown samples if you got any result higher than any result higher than the last calibration point as example if you got 300 bbp if you got 300 bbp you should dilute this concentration to be in between your calibration point and if you got any result less than the last the first calibration point as example if you got 0 0.1 bbb this result will be not detected so all concentrations expected to be measured by the method for your target analytes should be in between your calibration points the acceptance criteria for the calibration curve to say that this calibration is accepted you have first R square value or correlation coefficient which represents how much the linearity of your calibration curve should be higher than or equal to 0.995 according to the guidelines most of guidelines sometimes higher than or equal to 0.99 
and after that also you should run verification standard this verification standard should be with a concentration in between your calibration points as example if you have calibration points 1 5 10 25 50 and 100 bb you can select 25 bb to be your verification standard and better to be from another camp company from another company not what you use for the calibration standards but if you don't have standard from another company you can use the standard that you use for calibration curve and the criteria for this verification standard plus minus 10 percentage for higher for standard with higher concentrations but for standard with lower concentrations in some guidelines you will find plus minus 30 percentage or less or plus minus 20 percentage so if you run 25 bb and you got 23 bb the recovery of this standard 23 divided by 25 multiplied 200 will be 92 percentage so this percentage is accepted according to the acceptance criteria plus minus 10 percentage means from 90 up to 110 percentage so 92 percentage will be accepted so this verification standard accepted and that means your calibration curve is accepted after that method linearity method linearity to study linear response as a recovery to identify low concentration and high concentration can be determined by the method not by the instrument in this case so you will run spike samples and as I mentioned in the previous lecture that you should select different level of concentrations that cover the range of interest or range of concentrations expected to be measured by the method for your target analytes based on the specification limit or maximum residue limit of the target analyte as here in this example if the maximum residue limit or specification limit for your target analyte equal to 100 ppb you will select different level of concentrations which expected to be measured by the method for your target analytes the first level or lowest level which represent the minimum reporting limit or limit of quantitation equal to 10 bbb or 5 bbb and as i mentioned in the previous lecture that you don't need to go for 1 or 0.1 bbb in this case because your maximum residue limit is 100 b is high second level 50 bbb third level you can select the specification limit for the target analyte so 100 bbb and the fourth level or uh, the highest level can be more than the specification limit 200 bb or more if you can get and you will make replicate analysis of samples spiked with these concentrations in different days with this concentration 6 to 10 replicates for the first or lowest level here also and the acceptance criteria in this case to say that the method is linear from this concentration up to this concentration recovery and the relative standard deviation for each spike sample should be within the acceptable criteria according to the guideline you use as example recovery should be within from 70 up to 120 percentage for each spike sample and relative standard deviation for each replicate analysis should be less than or equal to 20 percentage and in this case you will say that the method is linear from 5 bbb up to 200 bbb but you should take care from one point all level of concentrations should be in between your calibration points to be quantified with high accuracy as i mentioned in the instrument linearity so in instrument linearity and method linearity are very important performance parameters to evaluate your method in instrument linearity to create calibration curve to be able after that to quantify the target analytes in the unknown sample and also method linearity method linearity you will select different level of concentrations that cover the range of interest and you can say after that your method is able to quantify these concentrations from here up to here with the high accurate result that was the end of our lecture for today see you in the next lecture inshallah